everyone, I am Pratima and welcome you all to this video. So today I will share how parents can help their kids to develop a positive attitude for mathematics. I will discuss about five ways to develop the positive attitude in mathematics. It is no secret that there is such a thing as maths anxiety, a phenomenon that many students feel when it comes to mathematics. The anxiety for the subject is often caused by students' difficulties in understanding multiple concepts and formulas. These negative feelings towards mathematics is common in students and it is unfortunate that anxiety also relates to lower performance in the subject. Such performance not only affect their maths grades but it can also bring down their grades in other subjects and percentage. Moreover, it brings their confidence level down. More recent studies point to a positive correlation between students' attitude towards mathematics and students' academic achievements. Even with a rigorous focus on studying and learning the subject, students will not be able to fully grasp the concept as long as their fear exists. Thus, there is a need for the teachers as well as the parents to change this in children and instead instill a positive attitude towards mathematics or towards the subject. So let us discuss certain ways. First is let them know mistakes are all right when students make some mistakes. The reaction of the parents as well as the teachers make them anxious. When it comes to mathematics and even in other subjects, it is helpful that teachers and parents let children understand that getting wrong answers, especially on the first try, is all right. Furthermore, instead of showing disappointment or frustration, teachers and parents should show support and patience in explaining to children which part they made a mistake and how it can be solved or how it can be prevented. Point 2. Mathematics is everywhere. Another effect of maths anxiety on the students is that they tend to think of the subject is unnecessary and it is unnecessarily difficult and that some concepts are not applicable in real life. Teacher and parents should make them understood that mathematics indeed everywhere and applicable in real life situation. One way to do this is using real life examples such as buying goods from a store, reading the time, reading the train timetable, cooking, dividing food with friends, making a budget for birthday and dividing the foods among the friends and classmates and many more things. 3. Do not encourage memorization. One of the biggest mistakes that teachers, parents and even students make is focusing more on the answers or memorizing the concept rather than fully understanding them. While memorizing the concept and formula may help to solve the problem, much of this will eventually be forgotten when other concepts are introduced to the students and they study them again. Interactive and meaningful learning is much more appropriate to the students for retaining many more days and for permanent memory. Point 4. Let them know speed is not necessary. Apart from mistakes, students also develop low self-esteem when it comes to mathematics. When they see their classmates getting right answers in a short span of time, this is another misconception in mathematics that the speed 
in answering is related to intelligence students should be taught that what matters more is getting the things correct the right answer rather than answering as fast as they can especially when the lesson is still newly taught there should be no need to rush students unless they are answering math problem for a competition or a timed examination fifth point make their learning enjoyable times are changing and new studies on education have shown that traditional teaching may not that effective for some students furthermore many of these discoveries have shown that students will be able to remember lessons more when they are enjoyable to them and they are being delivered in a proper way so we can learn uh, different new methods of teaching in internet so many resources are uh, available we may try new new methods to make them uh, make the lesson interesting so that it can be enjoyable and they can develop positive attitude toward the subject maybe using quiz maybe using life history of the mathematician how they dis- discovered or invented some certain things that will make them interesting and they can develop a positive attitude towards mathematics so i hope you enjoyed the lesson the video and thank you for watching